The next stop is on the radar radio. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Yeah. Yes, sir, baby. On the radar radio, yo, special guest in the building, the one, the only zombie juice in the building, my guy. Wait, how do you how do you do that? I can't do it. It's some dumb shit I picked up on uh, watching The Fresh Prince when I was okay. a young lad, and I, I never stopped doing it. I remember my son was like three years old doing that shit with me, like, whoosh. I don't know. <laughs> he started doing it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many kids you got? One. Oh, just one. Yeah. How old is he now? Fourteen. Fourteen years old. Mm -hmm. Oh, he, he ended high school. Yeah. How's that going? It's going. <laughs> <laughs> it's going. He's in trouble right now for, for a little vape pen activity. Oh, He's going to be embarrassed, but you got to be embarrassed, son. I was about to say, sometimes, <laughs> you know, sometimes you got to teach him a little bit of a lesson. Mm -hmm. Like the little skinny vape pens or like the new the, big the, the ones? Shittiest the shittiest of the shittiest of the wackest of the wackest. Are we talking about like the Hot Topic vape pens? <laughs> Trash. I'm like, why are you doing this? You know who I am? <laughs> You're like, bro, bro, out of all the things you could have gotten in trouble for, yeah. fighting, anything... Well, he's a good kid. A vape pen. Yeah, he's a good kid. It's just a little weed here and there. Oh, well, that's fine. Uh, yeah. yeah. What's, has, what's been the hardest part of uh, his transition into being a teenager? I mean, he's still trying to figure out what he wants to do. Uh, high school is hard, man. Yeah. Girls, freshmen, but he be having a good time. Right. People love him. He's yeah. a good kid. He's, he's, he's charismatic, charis charismatic, mm -hmm. and shit like that. So he survives on his own. Like his pops. Wow. Um... Is he as music inclined as you, or is he into music like you? I don't push anything on to him. I just let him be. He be sending me all types of music. He sends me my music back, tells me how he feels about it. So mm -hmm. I just let him be type shit, yeah. You just kind of let him go to his Yeah, I don't show I'll be like, don't. He sent me my album back. He's like, I love this song, I love this song. Me and mom was listening to this. We love it, blah, blah, blah. So. Oh, that's fire. Yeah. Did he tell you what his favorite song was? Yeah. What was it? Uh, mindful. It's still a... Everybody's saying Mindful off the project. Yeah. yeah. I saw I saw you were um, on Twitter. You were talking about how a lot of people have been saying, like, that's, like, your best song. Yeah. I, um, I was surprised because I'm like, nobody wants to hear me talking about my family and shit. <laughs> so I was surprised when that one gravitated to everyone. Um, but I'm, I'm happy. I can't really listen to that song because my grandma kills me at the end of it. Right. So I can't really listen to that song like that. I think, you know what it is, too? I think, like, obviously people have grown you know, so attached to the music that you made with the group and then you as a person as well through, like, social media and, you know, your interactions with fans. Like, even, you know, you have Calvin here talking about his past interactions with you. Calvin! But, but I think, like, you know, even if people are used to a certain sound from you over the course of, you know, your career, Thanks. I think that a record that hits close to home for everybody is always going to type of connect. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I wasn't too sure about it. I was like, these motherfuckers just want to mosh and elbow each other. But I was like, I don't really got that for you right now. <laughs> I'm going to have to take out of my world for real, like, and just do it. Right. Because, like, sometimes you, that, like, I mean, you make the mosh music, but, mm -hmm. like, you know, that's not the only side. Yeah, it's not the only, you know, we got messages. We got things we got to get across our chest. We're grown men now. Shit like that. Is it like, um, well, obviously this album is very, is not, it's not that. This is you. This is, like, I yeah. feel like the body work that you've always wanted to put out. But when it came to, like, I want to ask, like, when it when it comes to eventually, you know, kind of going back into that mode of making that type of, you know, the mod yeah. music, like, is it not hard for you now, but, like, how do you balance it now? Because I feel like, you know, even when you're sitting here on this couch with me, like, this album, like, Love Without Conditions, like, I feel like this is who you are now. Not saying that that, you know, not taking away from anything of the Moss music, but, like, is it hard to kind of go in between both these worlds or they both encompass you? Like, how do you kind of balance making these different sounds now? Yeah. Uh, at first, when I was making the album, I definitely was in a in a place where I was like, oh, shit, I forgot how to turn up for a second. <laughs> I was like stuck listening to lo-fi and like just like in in the rut of it. And um I remember this nigga Trav came over and I was writing the song Dizzy all day. I was like, this nigga Trav is tired of hearing this fucking beat. But it was just like I, I thought I forgot how to turn up and I, I didn't. I got it I got it down packed. And even right now, I'm well well balanced. Me and Meech already started working on the next thing. Mm. And, and that's pretty reckless and, and, and ignorant. So I'm 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 ready. I'm back. You, I'm back. Yeah, you were I'm back in it. Back At first it. I was like, oh shit, how do we rap fast again? And did No, I'm back. I'm ready. Now that this is how you're like, yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Yeah, it's easy. But this project was was beautiful. And, you know, I know that Mindful has been a lot of people's favorite tracks on yeah. the project. But I saw that you said the, the song with you and uh, Coltrane was uh, your Ooh. favorite track on it. Hoots. Big Hoots. Shout out to Powers, too, because Powers did the beat on that, right? Got the beat by Powers, and we just made a love song. Yeah. Yeah. Why was that one, like, your favorite? Why, why that one? 
for your favorite song off the project? <sighs> Honestly, my favorite song on the project changes every other day, mm -hmm. but when it's Hoots, it, it's special to me, like, um, talking about love and romance. I'm, I'm a real lover at heart, mm -hmm. and um, I don't know. Society's fucked up. Society been fucked up, and um, all we do is kind of, like, disrespect women and kind of, like, uh, use women, manipulate women, and mm -hmm. this, that, and the third, and I'm just tired of seeing that kind of shit. Like, I probably said bitch on the album one time. Mm. Um, so I just got kind of tired of that and just that energy. So I, I wanted to, you know, show people that you don't have to downgrade women, relationships, love. Mm. You can just, you know, be free and talk about the positive things. Right. You know, it's important, man. Fuck. Mm. Even for my son to like respect women growing up, I'm like trying to let him know you can't, you know, call them these names. You gotta develop good patterns while you're young and show respect. Cause, uh, you know, I can't, I can't be having a woman broken hearted and manipulated <laughs> and, and abused and shit. I'm over that shit. Right. With um, I think what you said was very interesting. You said you said bitch like once on the project, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Were and you mentioned your son kind of bringing that back around. Like, was that something also you were actively thinking about when making this project? Because you mentioned how your son listened to it and he sent you his favorite records and whatnot and ah uh, ah. Uh, but were you thinking about that too? Like, oh, my son's really gonna, you know, he's at an age now where he's really consuming music and yeah. like and is um, that's like the impressionable age. Like when you first start, like when the music that you're listening to is really kind of like. Helping mold you, mold kind you of are. certain personality, oh, shit. like that. Oh, um, shit. But were yeah. you thinking about that when you were making this? Because you of knew course. he was gonna listen to it, and of he course. Would, you know would hear if there was a song about you talking about women in a degrading way, he would hear that. Yeah, because he sent me the the ratchet shit before, and I'm like, oh, yeah. what do you know about this shit, man? <laughs> but um, which yeah. one? Which one did he send you? Better of dead drugs. Oh. He went back. To the oh, he went like, way back. He huh? went back. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he went back. Um, yeah. I mean, honestly, every song in that album I wrote for someone a, a lover an ex-lover a friend a family mm. so I, I was very mindful <laughs> you're mindful of like what you said yeah okay word yeah. has a lot of um you know you mentioned like friends or ex-lovers have like the people do these people know that you've written certain these songs about them yeah 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 like did you tell them or did they kind of find figure it out after it came out shit man i told them once i cut the demo once i cut the reference oh, i was like, like you hit everybody motherfucker, check like, this out. This? <laughs> you good with this i'm good with this all right i'm good with it you good with it yeah 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 100%. Uh, even my grandma, I didn't tell her that uh, I was recording her when I did it. Mm. We were just going through our moments and having our, our talks. And um, everything she said on that, that voice note at the end was the first time that I heard those stories. So it's like I wanted to show y'all the first time with me. That shit. Wow, that's and, and, and she didn't know she was on the album until like a couple months, like one month ago. She was excited. She wanted to sing on the bitch, but I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, you got me on the album? You got me talking? Yeah. yeah like, that's not fair. yeah. yeah. <laughs> what what was her reaction to Mindful? I didn't get to see her yesterday. Unfortunately, she wasn't at the crib, so I didn't get to like have that face to face with her. Um, but hopefully, I will by by the time I get out of here. Mm, okay, we really get to wrap it up with her. Word. So overall, you you're very happy with how this has been received. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know me, man. I don't care about nothing, man. I just care about the people and what I got to say. I wanted to be judged uh, for myself, right? Uh, and understood for myself. That's all that matters for me right now. You know, everything is going to come how it's supposed to come when it comes how it is. Right. Yeah. I like, um, because as I've been having each one of y'all up here individually with y'all solo projects, right? I saw Eric was up here, yeah, too. Eric was up here, too. I like how um, it all feels different. You know what I'm saying? Like, you guys, ah. I feel like, like, it's, you know when it's like, you watch the different, like, Avengers movies, mm. like, the, the solo movies, and then they all come together, but mm -hmm. all of them have different tones to their movies. Like, And that shit like, is important. That's why we had to separate a little bit to yeah. get people to understand I know people understand we always are individuals, but we really need you to understand that at this point in our lives. And, you know, we're older now. Like, we're individuals. Right. Important, nigga. <laughs> right. Like, you we're have three like, headed beasts all the time. Shit. But when y'all are together, it's like the Avengers coming together. You yeah. feel me? It's like, I think of like, it's like, you know, an Iron Man movie, a Captain America movie, and a Thor movie. They're all very different tones and very different characters. And it's like, that's kind of how I've been, how I've seen all of y'all start to do y'all individual stuff. It's like, they're always going to come together, right? But the individual stuff that y'all been putting out, like, it's kind of like that deep peek into, like, y'all souls and who y'all really are outside of the group dynamic, which so many people obviously know you from. Yeah. And it's like, you get to meet everybody on a more personal scale. And I think, obviously, with this project, like, you got to really meet you and kind of understand you and kind of the things you've been through and also the things you want to uh, accomplish all through, you know, just your lens instead of the group's lens. 100%. Which is, there's nothing wrong with either or. It's just nah. cool to get to know the individual. Yeah. It was healing, man. It was healing to do that shit. I needed it. How long was this project kind of like in your brain, like in the works? Or like kind of. The first record, 
I wrote for was Alto with Devin the Dude. Okay. And um, I wrote that shit in Paris. It was like six, seven a.m. I was waiting for the for the bakery to open. <laughs> so I was just walking around Paris, with my headphones on, bumping into French niggas with glasses, and um, just writing my lyrics. Mm-hmm. I wrote it over that dear summer Jay Z. Took it back to Eric. It was like, once we land, I got something, man. I need you to remake this shit. Mm-hmm. And that was the first song we did, Alto. And um, after that, all those songs I, I wrote in my, in my room. What year was that uh, when you were in France? That you begin- wrote Sorry, that was a question. The beginning of uh, COVID. Oh, like right, right at the beginning of COVID. Mm-hmm. Were you stuck in France at the beginning of COVID? No, we wasn't stuck, thank God. We oh, knew okay. it was a little, we knew some shit was popping off, but we had to shoot a video. Mm-hmm. So we was like, all right, we're going to make it. We're going to make it back. God, you made good. it back, obviously. Yeah. Okay, good. So was COVID, you know, I, I think when, we, when I spoke to Eric, like we were talking about how like uh, COVID was like a deep time for him to work on this solo stuff. Was mm-hmm. that kind of like the same for you, even though we are kind of like three years removed from the height of the pandemic? Yeah, I'm going to come clean. Um, shit, we almost signed a fucking deal oh, during really? that time. And uh, we backed out big time. Why? For me, I needed more money. And... Uh, yeah, I just wanted a better structured deal. I didn't want to do three albums type shit. Mm. You know, I wanted like maybe one. This is for the group. Yeah, yeah for okay, the group. Okay, okay. I wanted like maybe one or two albums, mm. and just maybe a little bit more bread, just a little bit more, and then maybe it would have happened for me. But I couldn't have done it. I didn't do it. I probably sabotaged the whole thing to be honest. <laughs> what do you mean you sabotage it? I told them I wouldn't do it, no matter what. I wasn't gonna do it. I just, just couldn't do it. But I, I was the first one to. I'm the first. I was the first one to back out. That's what I'm saying. I sabotage it. Oh, okay. But obviously the other guys, you know. Yeah, they didn't want to do it either. Right. But I just made sure. Right. You were just the first person to yeah. say something. Yeah. But, I mean, I, I say all things happen for a reason. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that was meant to happen in the universe's way of making things happen. Because then I feel like after that, then y'all go on these solo journeys. Exactly. You know? Yeah, and we don't owe no, no label a bunch of dough. Right, exactly. So after that, after you, that deal kind of fell through, did you start working on this pro? I mean, obviously yeah. you had the first one written, but like, did you kind of start conceptualizing what you wanted for this project? Because you said like you were kind of in rage mode at the beginning, right? Mm-hmm. So like, how did you go from rage mode to then creating a, a person, this like hyper personal body of work? Well, I um I can't really sit here and talk about fairy tale shit. Like it's just not in my DNA. Yeah. I'm not really good at it. Some people are. So I had to talk about what means something to me. Mm. And that's that's how it happened, really. I'm not really here. I mean, you know, we like to have fun, but I'm here for a reason, right? You know, if it's to, to, to tell my stories to help other people get through what they got to get through and to help me get through at the same time and remember what we didn't have to do and to get through, then I'm gonna do it, right? You know, that's it. What do you? Uh, what? Why did it take three years from the beginning of the first shit being samples? Mm. And uh, I needed a feature for Doctor Miami, <laughs> and uh, it ended up being Meech. The NW Meach. <laughs> I really wanted Young M.A. I really did. Right. But I'm um, NW Meach. So. so Young M.A. was orig- uh, originally the idea for to mm-hmm. have on that song. Mm-hmm. Why did that? Did you just not get to? She was just a little busy at the time. Oh, okay. Word. As you see, she hasn't really put out too much. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. Right. I know she put out a mess the other day. I'm glad. Yeah. By the way, glad you're doing well. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Shout out Young M.A. Um, mm-hmm. But it ended up being Meach. Yeah. Not a bad choice, you know? It yeah, came it, together. It came together perfect. So it was the samples and kind of, kind of. And then we had out. a sample of. On fly, mm. two out of the three riders was in. We were waiting on the third rider for like a year. For a year? Yeah. Then we uh, changed the chorus completely. I was about to say, did you ever consider putting it out without the chorus or without that yeah, song? We just and... changed it up completely. Yeah. Wow. Couldn't wait forever. So yeah. he didn't even respond to you, and then you just decided to change it. Yeah. That's crazy. Didn't want to get sued later, so fuck it. <laughs> right. Okay. Isn't it crazy that you have to wait a whole year for one person just to hit you back? It's sad. It's sad, but everyone got to get their money. Right. You know, so I respect it. I respect it. Yeah, I feel like with samples, and I, I had this conversation with, with Jid, like, I think it's just like with a lot of these things, and even with like kind of the courses being the same or whatever, like, these are things that should be able to be handled within like a week easy. or two. Uh, easy. If someone two wants, weeks max. I'm going to answer my phone if someone wants to give me money. So, right. So, but, yeah. I was about to say, if someone if someone had had like sampled some of your records off this project, right? Yeah. Like you'd Petty one. Up, right. Hit him. He quick. sampled palm trees. <laughs> Martin Sofa, what's up? You would hit them real quick. Yeah. But I peeped um, congrats on the on the show to celebrate the project being sold out. 
I know. Um, you Thank had, you, man. Thank you. I saw the very long IG post. Like I even wrote some of it down. You oh, said, you be reading all my sentimental shit? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I said, <laughs> you don't want me to read it? No, I'll fuck read it. with you. You said, you. woke up today, was going to promote the show, and so I was sold out. Sorry for everyone who couldn't get tickets. I love all you guys. I thought it was a glitch or some shit. Wasn't expecting it to move this fast. I'm really grateful and won't disappoint. So on and so forth. Um, yeah, that's what I said. Why were you so surprised? Because I don't, I don't expect nothing. I don't even expect sex from my girlfriend. <laughs> 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 I just live, my nigga, like... Everything that happens, happens, man. We want good shit to happen. We always have goals and stuff. But I don't walk around here like I need and want and everything is deserved to me. Right. Like, everything happens when it happens. I was supposed to happen. So that's how I live. That's how I move. That's how I breathe. Right. That's it. I was surprised because I was surprised. I'm I'm, I'm usually giving back to the to the universe and giving back to everyone. And, mm. and so when it's coming back to me, I'm, I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> you can't even give me a massage type shit. I don't even want it. That's how I am. So to get that kind of love, I'm just like, ooh, all right, let me try to get used to this to grow. And that's what I do now, try to get used to it. But do you, don't you feel like you've received this love in your career a lot of times? Or is this type? Is this new? No, nah, I'm on autopilot, man. We toured 70% of every, for like seven years, every year. Right, which I'll give you flowers for that. I saw you out <laughs> on like every festival, yeah. lineup and shit like that, everywhere. Like yeah. I remember... Before the pandemic, I think I saw y'all. It was Panorama. Ooh, I okay. I think it was I Pan. It was either Panorama or GovBall. I think it was Panorama both, though. Well, yeah. probably both, honestly. Yeah. But like, I would be like, damn, they're on every single show. Yeah, you gotta sit home for a second and settle in your funk and figure out what's left to right. Mm -hmm. So I was really on autopilot for most of that shit, just knocking them shits out, right. knocking it out onto the next. How does that take a toll on like your body and your mental health? Yeah, uh, it does take a toll. Um, because you're just you're just moving and grooving and you don't get the time to sit back and be like, okay, what do I need for myself? How do I organize myself? What do I even want? Then I had to, right. COVID helped force that on on, on onto a nigga. Mm. That, so I'm grateful for that. I said the same thing. Like me, I like I kind of miss some of the days of it. Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah, just like the one or two days a week where you could just really like sit down and be quiet yeah. with yourself. You don't really got to talk to nobody else. A I miss bit. I miss those little parts. A little bit. I miss you know standing six feet. I don't want to be too close to niggas. I miss, I miss, the, I miss that a little bit though. <laughs> They're not everybody be on top of each other again. Not even, yeah, even me. I'm, I caught COVID like three weeks ago. I missed WrestleMania. I was so pissed. Oh, you missed WrestleMania? Yeah, it I'm was. Sorry, a, bro. And, and it was the first time they invited niggas too. I was like, oh shit, we made it, nigga. We made it. But oh, you yeah. got personally invited to WrestleMania this yeah. year. That's congratulations. I'm uh, sorry you missed it, but congrats, yeah, congrats. Yeah, yeah. If it, you know, I caught COVID for my second time back in February. I missed a whole month. Two times, two times. Yeah. Damn. I missed my whole, my whole Miami trip, so. It sucks. I feel you. Black. I know. Huh? I missed, I missed a whole week here, and then I missed a Miami trip, because I swore to God I'd be better by the time. The day I was supposed to fly to Miami, I had COVID. The day after, like the, right ne the next day after I was supposed to fly to Miami, mm. negative. Negative. Jesus just, Christ. I just, I, you know what I equated to, bro? What? Universe is telling you to That's what I be saying. Down. That's what I be saying. Sit my ass down. Maybe I wasn't supposed to be there. Maybe I would have gotten into a car accident or some shit. I don't fucking know. Sorry, car accident's not happening. Right. I always say maybe I wasn't meant to be in Miami or you weren't yeah. meant to go to WrestleMania because, you know, God forbid, you know, obviously we're here, we're both here today. God bless. But, mm -hmm. you know, you never know what could have happened. You exactly. know, I think that's just the universe kind of trying to steer you in the right direction. Plus, you might have been doing too much at the time. I might have. Because you had this project coming out. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Just like to... sit your ass down and I just think you're chill. Right. I think you're right. I think I needed to. Fuck How did yeah. you spend your COVID time? Like your actual COVID time? Like being Watch, home? Watching The Sopranos for the first time. I've never watched The Sopranos either. Yeah. What are your first thoughts? What? What? What, Calvin? What? Anyway, guy, what are you, what are your what are your thoughts on The Sopranos after watching for the first time? Tony's the fucking man. Tony, <laughs> Tony, Tony <laughs> Soprano, Anthony, Antonio, whatever you want to call him, he's the fucking man. I like I like it a lot. Um, I'm on the third season right now. Okay. Uh, I still think Oz is better, mm -hmm. but I'm into the Sopranos shit, man. I'm into it. I like being Italian sometimes at home. I just be. Get into the accents and shit. You got your Italian accent yeah. down pat? I stopped eating pasta. I started eating pasta again. It's all fucked up. It got me fucked up. Why'd you stop eating pasta the first time? Uh, Because I eat too much sugar and carbs and breads and... Relatable. Pussy and all types of shit. So yeah. I'm trying to calm down. Relatable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm frail today, but I was brawling not too long ago. I'm going to get back on my shit. Bro, that's why I keep telling... Somebody said I need to hit the gym today. I'm like, yo... I just been working, bro. I didn't have time to, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, we, 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 we have pasta. time. We have time, I promise. We just got to make it happen. Right. It's like during COVID time, I was just doing push-ups in my room because I didn't know what that else to do. That shit is fun. Do. I feel like I was on a bed. 
just push ups all day in the crib. Felt like I was in bed, <laughs> doing like. nothing. Yeah. But with that time, like when you were doing, um, like was the album done when you had COVID too, or were you kind of like now forced to just kind of finish up some parts of it while you were kind of like stuck in the crib by yourself? Now we was done. We was okay, done. It was fully done by then. Mm, okay, word. Done. So where do you go after this? Right? Do you feel? A sense of relief now that this project is out. Like, does it feel like a weight's been lifted off your shoulders? Was it? Was it is there like a therapeutic feeling that you're feeling right now? Yeah, definitely feel like I released a big nut. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Respectfully, I definitely feel like that. Um, yeah, I just feel electric, man. I, you know, like I said, I, all I want is for people to understand me and my boys as individuals and and, and respect us for that. Mm. So I'm, I'm more than happy. I'm more than satisfied. Right. I love how. Um, you know, even we talked, we mentioned Dr. Miami, but I, I forgot to mention, but like, you know, Dr. Miami even being like a, a drill beat, right? Yeah. I like that. That's one and cool. done. I'll probably never do it again. <laughs> Why was that just a one and done? Just to, just to try it? It's not my, it's not my world. True. It's not, it's not my, 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 you know, my thing. Right. You know? You just wanted to try it one time. Yeah, because I love, I love the drill music. Right. I haven't been catching up lately. I, I, I kind of fell off, but I love it. Who did you like when you were into it, if you don't mind me asking? Um, Ron Suno. Suno, shout out Suno, man. Yeah, he's funny as shit. His dances are good. I wish I could dance like that. He's funny. Um, Needs to be heard in a show like that. You try to do that. Uh, you know, it. the regular guys. Mm -hmm. Fetty, Sos, Ether, Favi. Right. Yeah. The guys. The yeah. Waka guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I had no idea that you was at, first of all, shout out Ether. I had no idea. Because I like the music. I want to know what's going on. I, I had to pop up. I didn't have no idea you was at the Waka shoot. That's so yeah. funny. Big Ether, shout out to Ether, connect me. Big facts. I like I like that for you. Yeah. I like that you got it out of your system though. You're yeah, like, I, you know, like, I want to yeah. know what's going on. Done. Man. I'm done now. Yeah. Um. Okay. So now that this is a big release off of you, right, man? Like, what? Where do we? What else you have planned now? Like, what's kind of? We gonna mm. ride this wave out, right? With the with the project. You like got a little tour on the way with this project too. Like I said, me and Meech already started working on some new music. Can't wait. So that's that's really what my focal point is. Putting out this. Uh, I already got a bunch of. I already have like half of a second. Album already done for myself. I still gotta work on it. Oh, wow. But right now, I wanna, um, like I said, tighten up with Meech. I feel like me and Meech don't have too much records just together. Mm -hmm. um, even in the vault, in the vault, me and Eric got fucking way too much songs together. And so right now, I'm really, really interested in building that with Meech right now. I look back at it and I'm like, what the fuck, Doug Waffle? What else do we got together that's just me and him? Because on the albums, we spread it out, but it's never just me and him. So I'm, I'm excited to do that right now. Mm. So that's just a you and me thing going on, or yeah. okay, got it. So that, Eric will probably drop some beats on there too. Okay, we'll what's up? So that's coming soon. Yeah, exciting. I always say like I know it probably won't be for any time soon, but I always whenever like when I had Nick Caution here last year, I always mm -hmm. say like I can't wait for y'all to do the Beast Coast shit again if that ever comes back around, man. Hey man, it's not up to me. I will do that shit any day. I know there's a lot of <laughs> like I've been thinking about. It, I'm like there's it's like so 10 many different people. niggas and I don't, <laughs> I even more than that. So we don't know, man. We don't know. But I will say like I, whenever I see, you, I want to give y'all the flowers for that moment too because, mm -hmm. like you said, there's ten people in that shit, right? Mm -hmm. Not easy to get ten people on the same page to do anything. So mm -hmm. even like watching the interviews and and the shows that y'all had during that time, I felt like that was that was an extremely special fun. time. Yeah, fun. man. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's something. Um, you you said fun, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like that's something that we're missing right now. Uh, we're missing some fun shit. Uh, you feel me? I think everything has become very hyper serious in hip hop, um, and very just you robotic. Know, robotic too. Yeah. AI is AI. Fucking, the algorithm is hitting right now. Yep. I just I just had this whole thing on my other podcast the other day about you know how AI is disrespectful to people who are not with us, like Biggie, Pop. You know. Yeah. There's a song. Up, there's a song up there. It's like Pop Smoke singing Munch. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hate shit like that. So don't I like just... It. Don't like it. Sometimes I just wish, you know, like, I, I want that fun aspect back, you know? So that's why I said, like, whenever I see you, I'll be like, I hope one day we can get this moment again of everybody together or something like it. Just to kind of bring, like, unity, love, mm -hmm. some fun shit back. It's going to be up to Joey. It's going to be up to Eric because he's the producer. Yeah. <laughs> it's really... Once those two guys say they want to do some shit like that again, we'll definitely get it done. We back, man. Yeah. Well, look, man, congratulations on everything. Thank We're you. doing an Alchemist beat today for the freestyle. We are. I'm excited. Oh, yes, I, I got you, Cal. Don't worry. Um, I'm excited. Cal, you want to come ask you Cal's questions? Come on, man. Big Calvin on the back. Calvin might have been to more Flatbush Zombie shows than anybody I've ever known. I love it. Definitely, I feel like I've been to more Flatbush Zombie shows probably than anyone in the room besides people that came yeah. with you. Facts, facts, facts. Um, oh, also. Vintage right sorry, there. That's I'm that purple having, tie dye, too. Having, That's Cal's, vintage. Cal's selection is having a moment. I'm wearing a Ooh. Flatbush Zombie shirt that I got, I think, in 2014. When I got it, 
Michi Darko had signed it, and I've had it for so long. Did he sign it with his blood? No, just a Sharpie. <laughs> but I've had it for so long that the sing- that the signature has worn off. Oh, man. You got to get you doubled up. So here... Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Cal's Collection. Uh, Cal's Hello. Questions. My question for you today, Juice, is, you know, you've been in the game for so long, over a decade. You know, facts, facts. You start, you know, from drugs to what you're doing now, you've always been able to develop with the times and make music that you've always been able to keep up. And mm. I feel like, how do you, how would you reflect on your career from when you started, you know, from the mixtape era days back in like 2012 to where you are now doing these solo projects that it's still you, but it's on the more chill side. But yeah, how would you, how would you reflect on your career from there to now? My career is uh, great, very blessed, but I think that we need to come together and take all our flowers and demand them after all this is done. Respectfully. <laughs> That's it. Respectfully. Because I, you know how it is. They, f- they forgot. I don't know if they got amnesia or what the fuck, but we need to take our flowers back. That's who it. forgot? I don't know. These niggas. I don't know who their <laughs> names is, but these niggas. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I want to do. I'm interested in taking these flowers back. Kissing babies and shaking hands and slapping niggas. Respectfully. Great question. Great response. Thank you, Calvin. I appreciate y'all. Uh, Love Without Conditions, the album out now. Before we get out of here, anything else you want to let the people know, let the fans know, where they could follow you at, all that good stuff. Now's the time to do it with this camera on the right. Follow me on Dual Bits at Hard Hat Bill. I'm the best gambler you've ever seen since Drake. Holla at me. <laughs> My IG is J-E-W-I-C-E. That's Juice. I'm on every other platform and platform. Just find me. I got a different name for everything, so it gets confusing. I love y'all niggas. God is good. There you go. Make sure you go follow him. Go run up the new album out now. Go show him some love. Go show him some support. Love is free. Support is free. But Tyra knew that. Till next time on the radar. We Bow. out. Bow.